Hello to all my beautiful people out there. This is your friend Ashish and I'm back with another interesting lesson. And in this lesson, I'm going to teach you what is an adjective phrase. What is an adjective phrase? How to use it? Where does it come in a sentence? And many more interesting things. And there is also going to be a quiz at the end of the video. This lesson is going to be very informative, very interesting. Make sure you watch it till the end. I'm excited. I know you guys are too. Let's do it. So guys, an adjective phrase is a phrase, a group of words without having the subject verb combination that modifies a noun that gives information about a noun or a pronoun in a sentence. It is no different from an adjective. The only difference that we have is it uses a group of words to describe or modify the noun in the sentence. Let us take some examples and understand this. The movie was surprisingly good. So in this example, our adjective phrase is surprisingly good. Surprisingly good is an adjective phrase that's giving information about the noun movie. That is modifying the noun movie. Let us look at the next example. She is a highly passionate girl. So a highly passionate is the adjective phrase that's giving information about the noun girl. That's modifying the noun that's coming after it. Girl, a highly passionate girl. Let's look at one more example. A trip with my friends is my dream. A trip with my friends is my dream. So in this example, with my friends is the adjective freeze, giving information about the noun trip. Which trip? With my friends. A trip with my friends is my dream. So like an adjective, an adjective phrase can also appear in three different positions. Number one, in the beginning of the sentence or before the noun it modifies. Number two, in the middle of the sentence or just after the noun it modifies. And the number three is at the end of the sentence. Let us take some examples and understand this. Your overly excited friend is dancing. So your overly excited is the adjective phrase that's coming in the beginning of the sentence, modifying the noun friend, giving information about the noun friend. Your overly excited friend. Let's look at the next example. Betrayed by his girlfriend, Monu committed suicide. Betrayed by his girlfriend, Monu committed suicide. So betrayed by his girlfriend is the adjective phrase that's giving information about the noun Monu. Now let's look at some adjective phrases coming in the middle of a sentence. A guy smarter than me will solve this puzzle. A guy smarter than me will solve this puzzle. So in this example, our adjective phrase is smarter than me, not any guy. Smarter than me, a guy is smarter than me. So smarter than me is the adjective phrase that's giving information about the noun guy, that's modifying it, right? That is helping us to identify the person. Guy smarter than me will solve this puzzle. So it's coming in the middle of the sentence, it's coming just after the noun it modifies. Let's take one more example. The girl wearing the blue t-shirt lives next to my house. So here, wearing the blue t-shirt is the adjective phrase that's coming in the middle of the sentence that's coming just after the noun it modifies girl. Which girl wearing the blue t-shirt? The girl wearing the blue t-shirt lives next to my house. So wearing the blue t-shirt is the adjective phrase that's giving information about the noun girl. Which girl wearing the blue t-shirt? Let's take some examples of adjective phrases coming at the end of the sentence. Her behavior was highly rude. Her behavior was highly rude. So highly rude is the adjective phrase that's coming at the end of the sentence, giving information about the noun behavior. What is highly rude? Behavior. Let's take one more example. The last question was very difficult to solve. So very difficult to solve is the adjective phrase that's coming at the end of the sentence, giving information, modifying the noun question. What kind of a question was it? very difficult to solve. So we just have seen that an adjective phrase can come in the beginning of the sentence, in the middle of the sentence, and also at the end of the sentence. And sometimes an adjective phrase does not have an adjective in it. It starts with a preposition or a participle or an infinitive. Let us take some examples and understand this. I don't like movies with no stories. I don't like movies with no stories. I don't. I just don't. So with no stories is the prepositional phrase starting with the preposition with that's working as an adjective. That's modifying the noun movies. I don't like movies. Which movies? With no stories. 
so with no stories is working as an adjective phrase it's basically a prepositional phrase starting with a preposition with but it's modifying the noun movies so it's an adjective phrase i have a picture of your childhood so of your childhood is the adjective phrase here that's giving information about the noun picture that's modifying the noun picture so of your childhood is basically a prepositional phrase starting with the preposition of but since it's a phrase and working as an adjective i can call it an adjective phrase now let us look at some adjective phrases starting with a participle before we look at some examples let us understand what is a participle in english first a participle is a word that is formed from a verb which works as an adjective a participle is nothing but a word that is formed from a verb which works as an adjective now let us take some examples the guy sleeping on the floor is my friend so sleeping on the floor is a participle phrase starting with the present participle sleeping modifying the noun guy which guy sleeping on the floor the guy sleeping on the floor is my friend so sleeping on the floor is an adjective phrase starting with the participle present participle sleeping all right and working as an adjective so this entire phrase sleeping on the floor is working as an adjective let us take one more example the shop built next to my house is huge the shop built next to my house is huge so built next to my house is my adjective phrase starting with the past participle built so this basically is a participle phrase starting with the past participle built but it's working as an adjective so since it's a phrase and working as an adjective we can call it an adjective phrase so built next to my house is giving information about the noun shop which shop the shop that is built next to my house is huge now let us look at some examples of adjective phrases starting with an infinitive I do not know a person to trust blindly. I don't know a person to trust blindly. So to trust blindly is my infinitive phrase starting with the infinitive to trust working as an adjective modifying the noun person. Which person to trust blindly? Let's look at one more example. He is the guy to look out for in the next match. He is the guy which guy to look out for in the next match so to look out for in the next match is an infinitive phrase starting with the infinitive to look and working as an adjective and modifying the noun guy which guy to look out for in the next match so it's working as an adjective phrase so since it's a phrase and working as an adjective we call it an adjective phrase so guys when an adjective phrase does not have an adjective in it we generally call it an adjectival phrase Now I have a task for you guys. On your screen are some sentences and all that you have to do is find out the adjective phrases from these sentences and answer in the comment section below. And I'll pin the answer of the person who gets it correct. So I hope you're ready. So that is about today's lesson guys. I hope you really enjoyed watching this lesson. I hope now you know what is an adjective phrase, how to use it and I hope you can teach it to others who are But before you do that learn it yourself first and then you show teaching it to others and if you have any questions any doubts do let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you really enjoyed watching this video hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you very soon with a new topic till then keep learning have fun i'm